here we are with summertime rendering episode 14 so yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's get to the episode Oh, <clears throat> does Hizuru maybe have some kind of like seeing the near future ability because of Hinako? Of the girl? I forgot her name. She did. <coughs> yeah, maybe. Because of her, she has like some kind of seeing the near future ability. And that's why maybe the shadow took, like copied her and killed her, I guess. So that the shadow also has the ability to see the future and time travel. <clears throat> but yeah, this will be now very interesting to see how all of this shit goes down. Because last episode was crazy. Hmm. Oh, <clears throat> that's a big motherfucker. Dude, I just came from uh, Harem in the Labyrinth of Another World episode 10, and yeah, we had a finger thing going on there too. What? What? <coughs>
Is this already the shadow one? Oh. Because I'm a hunter. Oh, <clears throat> it's sundown, right? Like the sun goes down. Is he gonna die now? Looks like around the time from what we saw from flashbacks. Yep, that's the point. Uh, that's the spot. What's she eating? Yes. Yes. What's she eating? Mm hmm. Oh. Oh. So it was already the shadow one? Is this how they got the eye? Somehow? Dude, I'm... What the fuck? He saved her, okay. These are weird shadows. And then she somehow got 
her brother inside and got super strong? How? How did this happen? And he knows exactly what to do. How did this all happen that, I mean, they said his shadow bounced off of Heine and went into Hizuru, but how, why, what? And then her eye popped out and I guess that's the eye escaped and that's how they got the eye somehow and it got transferred to Shinpei 14 years later. <laughs> uh-huh. So, so she was a shadow all along, basically. Okay, so she was just manipulating her or has some weird personality disorder? And she knows. Yep. At some point, he just arrives at the summer festival and then everything is over. So, technically, they could go and hunt him down. <clears throat> Unless he suddenly learns how to control it or comes up with a really good plan. Oh, see, she still has a burn marks. I guess that makes sense.
No, she just knows which which timeline. Oh boy, <laughs> you start to find. <sighs> uh. Uh, he's the leader. I mean, he can loop and all that stuff, so it makes somewhat sense, right? He has the most information. <clears throat> I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <clears throat> Behind you. <clears throat> and who's going to die now? <laughs> Who gets shot? How did they know how where the hunter was? I 
I mean, she saw what happens now, so she knows that there is no escaping anyway, right? Right? Fight or just die? <laughs> There's no other option. I bet they take the sniper and shoot someone. Come on, do it. Probably Shimpe. <clears throat> yep. I guess there was a shot. They shot him. They start hunting him down and killing him. But he didn't even realize that there was a loop really. It just happened. Normally he's like in this like loop tunnel. Okay, that was episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah. So we saw the full backstory basically. And I guess the Heine from back then, from 14 years ago, was already the shadow the whole time. Because I mean, basically that was the goddess that was on this island a long time ago and so if she's still around then that obviously means and if she was human that obviously means that the shadow is around for like many years now in that form right um but it seems like she had like a split personality right like one side was nice and all but then the other side was more like the real the shadow heine that came out i it seems like so maybe there was like a split personality that there was like fragments of the real one of the real heine um <clears throat> and then slowly but surely the shadow one took over or something i don't know it's weird right um <clears throat> and so yeah but i mean she knew about shide which is the other shadow uh i don't know it's weird and then yeah she was randomly in the mountain ate someone something that is bloody maybe an animal maybe a, a person i don't know and then she killed hizuru's brother because he found her and ate him <clears throat> and i guess when she was screaming and the eye popped out i think that's when she copied and while that happened the copy went over to Hizuru of her brother, and that's how he got imprinted in her. Okay, so we know how the brother ended up in Hizuru, basically. The copy just... something went wrong by with the copy and ended up in Hizuru. But how is this, like, seeing the near future thing? What is going on with that? Maybe it's like a fragment of, his, uh, of Heine, maybe, being imprinted too like the because the eye was popping out which allows for the loops right so maybe because the eye was also bouncing off maybe part of it got imprinted too that and that's why she has like the ability to see the near future because part of the eye that can't see the future or can change the future and past and all that stuff got imprinted somewhat in the process and then yeah the eye popped out and just escaped it made a run for it and somehow Ushio got it somehow, some way, I think. And then she gave it to Shimpei 14 years later after everything happened now. <clears throat> and yeah, they now figure out that the that he is like progressing in the loop because he has no control over it. And so now they know, okay, we can just hunt him down and keep killing him. And eventually he will just end up at a point where he just dies and can't do anything and yeah that's what they did i mean they somehow found the hunter i forgot his name um in the in the forest and killed him grabbed the gun and killed shimpe with it from distance and like i said it's interesting that he didn't even went into the like loop tunnel where he is when he dies it just went straight to the next loop point where he's in the kitchen and realizes, wait, I skipped again, I looped again. So, yeah. <coughs> so everything they did now, sharing the information with everyone, that stuff, gone. 
Um, they kind of have to redo it. But I mean, at that point, they would also have to change locations because I... How much... Now that's the question. How much do does Heine and Chide know when they loop? Because they also loop. I mean, I guess Heine loops, right? Chide, Chide is not looping. It's just Heine, I think. Um, but she can maybe share. And so, what? How much does she remember? Does she remember <coughs> what happened in the previous loop? Because then she knows that they, where they killed him now, and then she knows. Okay. Either they go there again to redo it and then we can kill him again, or she knows they probably won't go there because they know, he knows, she, Shinpei knows now that we know that he is there and that we will kill him there. So maybe they switch locations and then they know, okay, we have to look somewhere else for them to kill him again, right? So if she knows what's what happened in the, in the previous loop, that will be very dangerous because, <clears throat> yeah, then they can just like... They know what he was doing, where he was, what he did. And based on that, they can probably hunt him down easier, right? Because they know where to look for him, maybe. So, yeah. I mean, at this point, he died two times in two episodes. Now, basically, nothing much happened. No progress at all. Right now, it really looks like that he will just keep getting killed the whole time, so, I mean, <clears throat> obviously that probably most likely won't be the end of the of the story that he dies and can't do anything, I mean, I guess the, the end will be happy, right, they somehow defeat them all and all that stuff, so, is the question now, what will they do, what could they do to turn the tables, right, to get to a point where they can attack again and not get attacked and get killed, because right now, it seems very dire, right? He got killed two episodes in a, in a row, very easily, and just gets pushed forward in the timeline. And yeah, if it keeps going, then there isn't much time left. And then the question is really like, what can he do, right? But yeah, I mean, that was the episode. And I guess there wasn't much else interesting to talk about. I mean, we talked about the beginning, the backstory with uh, Heine and all that stuff. And, I mean, otherwise it's just now that he got killed and that they know what is going on and how his powers are, like, basically pushing him to certain death, basically, if he keeps dying. And, yeah, they basically started hunting him down now. So yeah, I guess we will see where, where this is going. <laughs> if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching, until next time. Bye-bye.